Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Today I'm out here with Bush. We're gonna show you guys how to catch fiddler crabs. Well, Bush is gonna show us, show me and you guys, how to catch fiddler crabs. So let's get right into it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a full uh, day, I guess, on how to catch, not just a few seconds. And uh, see the struggle, you know, some days is good, some days is not, but uh, today we're gonna catch them, man. Gonna yeah. catch some fish, I guess. Yeah, af af after we uh, catch the bait, hopefully we get quite a few. We will. Um, after that, we'll, we'll take the bait to one of the one of the spots where Bush has been crushing the sheep's head. Uh, hopefully, they're chewing today. So first things first, um, we're gonna need like any stick, anything that you can just uh, something simple that you can easily just poke in the hole. You want to be like like a feet away behind the hole. You see how the direction of the hole goes? I'll uh -huh. say like a feet away and just stick it in there and just kind of vibrate it and they think that their house is collapsing. Chances are that crab gonna start coming out from the hole. So that's the idea and it works. So I've been catching them this way for a while now. Uh, Sometimes, you know, when they're hiding on holes, yeah. it's, it's tough to get bait. So this, this kind of style works because I've been catching them for years now and that's I always awesome. get bait. So, that's awesome, man. Like, let's never, do it, man. I've, ne I've never seen it done before. When I first saw you post that short video, I was like, wow, that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, because they're not all the out, right? You, you, either, you, you have to buy them because no, yeah. no other way to catch them. Some people dig and that's not the, not the right way because they're going to hide deep and you're yeah. just destroying the place and you may be catching few. But this way you don't destroy anything and you feel you're cooler. So there's barely any videos out there. Oh, it's no to catch. Yeah, it's no um, videos. It's just this guy chasing them. But yeah, I, and if there are some videos, they're like from from years ago. You know, like six. I haven't seven seen years anything ago. doing this so, kind of. Figure I show you guys. Uh, figure we show you guys how to catch the bait for sheep's head. You see the you see the so big holes. Don't go for the small holes. You want the big ones. Okay. Bigger the hole, bigger the crab. Okay. And you just go like 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 a foot behind. Let's say this. You see this, and just shake it and look. He's gonna show himself. If he doesn't show himself, you then, have to move to the next hole. Don't, gotcha. don't just waste all your energy. Just go behind and just shake it till you see him. You don't see him, he's not there. So let's yeah. work an area that they haven't where well, uh, they haven't seen us yet. Let's gotcha. work like right there. None yet. Usually they, they come, they just they come running out, right? Yeah, most of them come running out, or some of them just stay on the on right in the entrance. What you do, you come up with this and just Kind of stick your finger and get him out. Nope, none there. Till you get used to, you know, you get used to that, you you catch them on no time. Are days that you catch a lot and there are days that you catch few, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just like, kind of, I guess it's kind of like fishing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> sometimes you get them, sometimes like, you don't, but... When they hide deep, deep in a hole, there's no way you can get them. But yeah. when they show themselves, like you move in this area and you see them out in that side, that's a good day. Today is not that day though. Today we're gonna... Catch just few. I Today think. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work for them. <laughs> yeah, you see this? It's tiny, but hey. Yeah, we'll that's take that's it. bait right there. Where you go? Even went away. You see, oh, it's coming well. out. Oh yeah, there it see is. that? He is there. I'm not gonna lose that. He's there. I know he's there. It's not going anywhere. That's so, a nice one. See that? So you just <laughs> you just vibrate. He think his home is collapsing, and boom, he comes out. Go ahead, get. There you go. <laughs> There it is, guys. That's how it's done. Bush is the man. We have to search, you know, a lot. Some days it's easy. Good, uh, good size bait right there. All right, let's get the bucket. Let's put him in the bucket. We can try uh, near the entrance. Oh, the one there? Yeah. The problem there, the ground is so hard because I tried everywhere. This is the easiest. We need some soft ground like this. But trust me, they might start showing up. Now that we're walking around, they kind of start yeah. fixing their homes. You're gonna see them out. So let's work there and we're gonna go work all. Oh, I see them out actually out right there. Where? Farther where the birds are. I don't know if they were crabs, but we're gonna search that area. Let's finish here and go there. See that? See that? Just like that. Don't go there. <laughs> just like that, guys. I just vibrated here and this guy is just running out. So. Yeah, that's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah. Don't let it go. It's not a lot, like I said, but hey. 
pretty bait. So this this particular one here is actually a male, and the way you can tell is um, his big that. old claw that, right that. here. That's a male. That's Look when you know that. it's a male. Look at that fatty right there. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> he went back. He went, he went back. back? In. Went yeah. Back. No, don't go back. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's a big one, Bush. That's a big you toss him over here. Yeah, I like I, li I like this guy, uh, this area because it's soft, soft sand, and the big ones are here. They like to easy game. Nice. So look, look what I do. This doesn't have it, but I just vibrated right here and what he does oh. is shows himself when I see him there then I cut him short right there so that way he can't go anymore there and boom get him gotcha always go for the big holes that's where that's where the prime bait is that's where the big one is huh? that's, yeah I just yeah you see this <laughs> so 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 the holes indicate how big they are right oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some big that makes holes, a lot of man. sense yeah Ooh, you get some we know we have this guy right here look at that look at that because oh, yeah. I saw him coming up you know he's there pretty decent go. yeah Good bait right there. There you go. Here's one. That's a good one. Good stuff. All right, we just need like a couple more dozen and then we'll start fishing for uh, sheep's head. Here's a big one. So just shaking this, this ground right here. This one's a female. Look at that. That's a good one. All right. I think we got plenty of crabs. We're gonna make our way to the first sheep's head spot and hopefully you crush it. What do you think, Bush? Yeah, I think uh, this should do. We'll catch we'll catch plenty of sheep today. We just got to uh, the first spot here. We're gonna check it out. Fishing the beach right here. Hopefully the, the sheep heads are there. Bush is saying that they should be there. So if not, we're gonna find them somewhere else. So yeah. We're gonna start we'll, with this spot. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find them. This is the only uh, the first spot, like I said. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let's do it. Hopefully the audio is not as bad with these uh, these waves crashing on the shore here. But after sheep set fishing, we might try for Pompano. Bush has got a good sheep set on. Oh yeah, that's a fatty, dude. That's a fatty. You see that little part? Yeah, you're right. Dang, that's a tangle of sheep head. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. Good job. Yeah, first CPO of the day. We're staying there, not here, but we call that. There you have it. You have a measure tape with you, just to be sure that he's on oh, the he's, right. He's good. He's, he's good. He's, he's well over 12. That's 13 inches for sure. Okay, I'll leave this guy there. So, first CPO of the day. Let's go. All right, first fish of the day goes to Bush. Yeah. If he catches another one, I'm gonna have to switch it back to fishing with killer crabs. Right now, I'm jigging for a uh, pompano. No bites yet. Actually, I had a bite earlier, but I couldn't tell what that was. Can I try the part or the jig itself? Ooh, there, there you go. go. Oh, it's not moving. I don't know what it is. Ronnie? I don't know what it is, though. Oh, lizard fish. Nice. You know? Sometimes, sometimes you'll catch these lizard fish. We just got here to the uh, a different spot now, and I'm seeing some really nice ones right here. Here we go. Oh, he's he got out! He got out! I have no idea what that tide's doing though. It's a possum. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty decent one there. That is a nice one. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't that big though. We're gonna have to get some pliers for this. But um, not bad. First uh, first sheeper at this spot. There was like a couple of them. Actually, there was a few of them right past that possum there, that dead poor possum. But um, got one to bite. Oh my God. A little guy though. We're gonna have to let this guy go. Are you on YouTube? Yes, sir. I think I've seen your video. Yeah. Yes. I appreciate you. Yes. This guy is probably right about, I want to say 12, but uh, we're going to let him go. Peace out, dude. That's going to be a wrap for uh, 
sheeps at fishing because that water just started ripping and I saw when I first got to the spot, I saw a few sheep's head and now I, I can't, can't seem to find one. So we're going to switch it up and um, try for Pompano. Oh, there's a lady. Oh, lady? Yeah. Lady. A sign though, there might be some pump in here. Oh, yeah, I never escape these guys. Everything's just so big down there, even the ladyfish. Big ladyfish. If we get a pompano, he's gonna be pretty decent. A good fish. Might, 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 might be a cobia. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's shading like a cobia, dude. Oh no! Oh no, he's still, he's still on. Oh my god, what the heck? I think, I think I lost him and then another one. No, I broke, it got broke off. The hashtag on it was insane. Good, good fish. There you go, fish on channel. Oh, uh, lady? Is it? That's a big one. I don't know, what was it, lady? I have no idea. That is gonna be a wrap, man. It's been pretty slow. Yeah, it was tough today, man. Honestly, everything. thought we were gonna crush it right after we caught all those uh, fiddler crabs this morning. I mean, conditions were perfect. We did find them, but they were not eating. They were just picky. Yeah, that's fishing for you. We came out here to the beach, Jake for Pompano for, uh, for a little bit. No Pompano. Caught a ladyfish and um, lost something big. I thought it was a cobia, but now I'm thinking it's pro it was probably bluefish, a little bigger size bluefish because he hit it the first time, started 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 peeling drag, and then it came loose, and, and then he went back, and then probably another one or or it, it came same back. Same fish, probably. Yeah, same fish. Probably uh, took the the jig again and broke me off. So that was a good fish. That. Huh? Yeah, that yeah, whatever that was, but. Um, yeah, that's a wrap for us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week.